From News Nation headquarters, this is News Nation Prime. Thanks for joining us on News Nation Prime. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. Gas prices are hitting wallets hard across the U.S., but America's pain at the pump is nothing compared to Europe's. Several European countries spending seven or eight dollars a gallon on gas. Globally, Hong Kong is at the top of the list. People there are paying more than eleven dollars a gallon. But relief is on the way back here at home. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says a federal tax holiday is quote worth considering. News Nation correspondent. On it. Uh, Tom Dempsey leads us off tonight. And Tom, are prices going down here in the U.S.? Well, Ruta Bay, Sunday brought some slightly better news with AAA reporting the national average for a gallon of regular to be just under $5. Now, that won't cut it for a lot of people around the country, with some areas like here in D.C. seeing prices even higher than that. Now, though, the focus remains on when relief could come. Many people all around the country now know the feeling of pulling up to the gas station and seeing prices far higher than normal. For some, the high cost of filling up means changing habits. Even on the weekends when you try to get people together, you're like, all right, let's meet at one house, drive somewhere else, and, you know, or just stay at the home, stay at the pool. On Sunday, AAA reported the national average for a gallon of regular at $4.98. But the issue continues to be felt all around the world. Just over the border in Canada, gas prices sit around $6.76. In the UK, gas prices remain even higher. And in Denmark and Norway, a gallon will cost you over $10. Clearly, inflation is unacceptably high. It's President Biden's top priority to bring it down. Members of President Joe Biden's administration spent Sunday highlighting how the president has tried to bring relief from sending this letter to oil company CEOs pushing them to lower prices to taking measures to increase supply. He's had historic releases of oil from the strategic petroleum reserve that uh, even though gas prices are high, they would be higher without those releases. The president also continues to weigh a federal gas tax holiday, which would save drivers 18 cents a gallon. But that idea also presents a problem. Part of the challenge with the gas tax, of course, is that it funds the roads. And we just did a big infrastructure bill to help fund the roads. So if we do... If we remove the gas tax, that takes away the funding that was just passed by Congress. Now, as many hope for any sort of help, AAA says simple steps can be taken while driving to save. Not hard accelerating, not hard braking. You have to think in terms when you're accelerating hard or you're braking hard, you're using more fuel than you have to. And Ruta Bay, but President Biden's energy secretary added that she plans to meet with oil company CEOs this upcoming week to further chat about ways to bring relief to gas prices. And Tom, what else did the Biden administration say could be done to help with inflation? Well, we just heard from Secretary uh, Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, during that interview. And she said that the administration is focusing on lowering costs for things like prescription drugs and health care, all as a way to alleviate uh, prices like gas prices and bring relief to Americans all across the country. Ruta Bay. All right, Tom, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.